All right, IndyCar. And I had this bright idea that I was going to qualify and actually try to start near the front. And, um, well, it's not going to not gonna happen because we're the number 15. And we know all these people, and we all know that they are much faster than me, especially in qualifying. So I'm going to go out and uh, do a practice pit stop with the Q set. And call that good, because we're just going to start at the back, even though this is a very, very, very tough track to make a pass at, and very easy to get stuck in dirty air, but just what we're going to do, because I know my limits, and if I push past my limits, um, bad things happen, so... I have practiced at least for 15 minutes. Got a decent run in. Adjusted the bars to make sure I kind of knew what was happening. Now we have a massive tailwind, 14 miles an hour, heading into three. So that could make things interesting. But I want to get a practice green flag stop in because there's not a lot of cars on track. Your left won't count until you reset the car and start over. Pit box in. Ten. But, um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Let's, uh, go out and just, oops, hit on. Let's go out, do a lap at speed, just to feel what it's going to do into three. I was running a 3-4 in practice for the race set. In Q, I was 1-6 with a bit of weight jacker. And, uh, I don't know. Overall, I feel good. But the only people I were, was passing were down in the thousand I ratings, so it's going to be very difficult. But that's the fun of this car at tracks like this, because that's how it is in real life. The leaders will catch the back of the field and not even be able to pass, so the arrow is just really hard to compete with. Uh, you have to be conscious of it and not try to drive too hard through it or you'll eat up that right front while you're driving your laptops will be deleted until you reset the car and try again so we've got a minute 30 we got people burning off fuel trying to get a faster Q lap but everyone's in here and Hopefully we'll go racing soonish, or at least in a minute and 20. Maybe even sooner, only two people left to go, and one of them has already hit the checkered flag, and the six car just started their final lap, so we might get to advance in 20 seconds. Look at that. We are waiting on one car. Now, last time I was excited about uh, everyone qualifying before that, uh, the end, we instantly got wrecked. Luckily, we're in 18th. So, uh, in this, we have our normal friends of Antonio. And uh, where the hell did. Holy crap! I was looking down low. So, Jacob up front, and then Seb is back here in 15th. So, congrats to Jacob. Go win this thing. Get that clean air. Uh, he will not be at the back with us, like the last few races. We might join him mid-race, though, and uh, end up 
trying to keep him from uh <laughs> that's what I said in my modified race earlier so, yeah it's a good qualify pole but usually ends up meaning I lose everything one to go next time by you're on so, the outside this time pit road is closed right now front everyone's kind of flopped around on uh, the strength of field is 4, where they normally are so that's a lot of opportunity gonna be good today. head down pick the battle All right, so we're starting off 3-4 with poor weight backer. And uh, we're just going to start off in that direction and go further if needed. Our goal is to gain three spots. Early on, we have no need to try to compete move up the field you have two additional be even close have a good race. Still waiting on two cars um, to grid. all that's going to do is hurt our tires being in dirty air and uh, make it easier for us to wreck so we're looking to be about one and a half two seconds off the back of the field problem with that is everyone's going to start getting about a second and a half two seconds in between them as we get single file and if you add that up for 18 cars, well, that puts us in the range of what a lap time is here. So uh, it's going to be very tough to conserve and not go a lap down. We got the two cars starting from the pits. The one car doesn't qualify. No idea what's going on with everyone. Still fighting the cold, but this is Tuesday night. I have no idea when I'm releasing this video. I'm just trying to get everything recorded because it's a busy soccer week. And, uh, yeah, I have a match to go to. Reunion Omaha. On Wednesday night for the Open Cup. And Saturday we have our home opener for the league, so... Watch Champions League all day. Car is off. Time to do your job. Will tomorrow as well. But what do we get here for a start? Green flag, green flag. We're on it hard. There's just, there's no reason. Especially when they're three wide up there. If they're going to wreck, it's going to be now. They survived. They are, oh man. I thought they were getting together there. So it might be boring to watch, but it'll at least be more than a five minute race unless I self spin. Right now, handling feels fine. A little tight. I should have, I don't remember what the wind was in, uh, practice it, it's a little loose though in the three but three is where we're putting the most stress on the car high speed entry not a whole lot of banking to hold it up like one and two my goal is if this goes green to be better than everyone near the end. But you only have 50 laps of fuel, so it's kind of a short run. I guess IndyCar always is. Indianapolis is like 32, 33 laps. With the headwind, we should be able to send it off into one and two much harder. There are gaps starting to open up. People are starting to fall back. 
but they're all very bunched up still, so. Oh, we got one getting very loose up top, or just had some weird uh, prediction code. Two cars setting fastest laps behind us. Not worried about that. I just don't want to get inside a second to these guys. Not yet. I'm already starting to feel the push. from the lead. Five seconds. Not bad at all yet. Things are going to start separating a bit more, though, I think. 6.1 now. Just going to get this guy past us as quickly as possible. Not that we're going to have a say in it, but we're going to make it even quicker than he's hoping for. Pull down low, let him go. And we have made it to last. Eight seconds off the lead. Got someone blinking up ahead. All right, so we've got 40 laps of fuel left. Kind of seems like this uh, four is going unusually slow. Is he saving or did he get damaged somewhere? He might have damage. Going really slow through the corner. He's definitely not saving with that push up the corner, out of the corner, so I think he's damaged. We'll just try to get around him, and he could just be saving, but. He's saving a whole lot. Alright, get back to C. We are nine and a half seconds off the lead. Let's see if we can close that in at all. Now that we got a bit of clean air. Go a little further on the way, Jacker. Held even that time, so that's good news. Yeah, I'm gonna go back just one click on the way tracker. Yeah, we're holding even with the lead, so. Positive news, and it 
looks like the 12 is getting a little loose or something weird ahead of us. But we're going to start getting slowed down as we catch up to him. But we're going to need to make the pass because we're clearly quicker. I don't think it's just draft. Just got to stay out of his dirty air. But yeah, still 9.5. But barely catching this guy now. And yeah, the four car has got to be damaged. it there. We are going the wrong way through it. Yeah, now we're hitting that wall, so just going to have to be patient with it. Nine point six last time by. Starts getting dirty air off the 16 ahead. That's just going to slow us all down. We'll just try to go lower. I hope that slowly closes us in. Watch that curving, though. I got nothing. I'm just we're gonna need to be patient. I'm gonna back off, I think. We need nine gallons of fuel. So we are almost in our pit window. kind of stuck here. catching the car ahead of him at all and so it's done kind of what I thought it would everyone just kind of gets stuck we're gonna have to hope that some people kill off their tires ahead there is still some racing going on but I'm wondering if uh, we just do an early pit stop 
try something. We got really nothing to lose. Take tires, fuel, and uh, try to get this thing to go green all the way to the end, because we got no lucky dogs. Okay, punch it. Should come out in clean air. Just ahead of the leaders. And just a massive nose shove there on cold tires. Turn. We need to go faster than the leader. And not wreck in front of the leader. Well, we're being terrible. No turn now. Had we come out ahead of this guy, it would have been fine, but luckily this is IndyCar and you're allowed to race the leader. Why he turned in when we we're there. Alright, can we pull away from him? They're lighter right now, but we've got fresh tires. They've got a pit in 20 laps. I just can't go two laps down, or we are massively screwed. There we go, we're pulling away now. Tires have come up. Hopefully we're gaining on the people that we're actually racing. I just gotta not put it in the wall. them at that half second now so they're just kind of stuck in our air as long as I don't s totally screw it up we should be okay I gotta go further on 
the bars. We got more people pitting. Nope, that's the guy that got into us. I need more speed. Why can't I be quick? Probably because I'm downshifting when I don't need to. Alright, second place pit. Hopefully that'll get the leader to pit. And then we'll stop getting hounded because all he's doing is losing time. Staying out here behind me. Good. Alright. Just how you have to race when there's no good way to get a lap back. The lead is bidding now, 24.588. But yeah, even with clean air and new tires, we weren't able to pull away, which is kind of bad news for us. As long as we make up some ground on the people we were around, hopefully it'll work out as I nearly drive it into the wall. Alright, we passed the 12. Not gonna get the 16 though. Two cars out of the race. So at the moment, we're sitting in 15th, our car number. We're not fast though, and uh, I think that's about all we're going to get. We just need this to cycle all the way through, which it should be very soon. Got to be about 10 laps away from it cycled all the way through. Holding in six there, just to hopefully save a bit more fuel. Because guess what? I think we have once again hit too early. <laughs> oh man, 
What am I doing? see if we can try to save a bit, but I am sick of being so wrong on the strategy. Alright, if we do bigger liftoffs like we did on that last lap, we can make it. But at this point, we're going to finish dead last again. It's just IndyCar is so inconsistent on the fuel that you use in clean air versus dirty air, old tires, and I think it also throws me off that fuel usage goes up as you go along because you're getting faster as fuel burns. But, good news is we're seven seconds from being lapped, so. And all we're gonna lose is one spot if we do run out of fuel. So it doesn't really matter. And now when the leaders catch us, we'll get out of their way, because there's no point in racing them when they actually catch you. That was, we were on a different strategy, pit stop, had a yellow come out, we would have got the wave around, or not the wave around, yeah, the wave around, because everyone would have pit. But if we went two laps down, we would have been screwed, so that's why we had to race them hard, but... It didn't matter. This didn't pay off. And I'm still terrible at strategy. Now that we're backing it down just little by little, it's allowing the 12 to catch us. So the only benefit that we got from pitting, getting around him, or were we already ahead of him? No, we weren't already ahead of him. We were only ahead of the four that was damaged or whatever was going on with him. Really use a yellow though. Not that I'd want to see it. Because I think no matter what, we're going to finish dead last. We got someone off base up ahead. That is Seb on pit road. Something must have happened to him. Because he would have been a lap ahead of everyone if he had stayed out for 
and uh, yeah, and you can't stay out 60 laps, so you might have tagged the wall or something. Good news is our fuel saving is working, and the 12 can't close the gap. will be closing the gap because they're just quicker. And that'll allow the 12 to make a run on us if he doesn't get here before they do. But we've also only got 13 laps left, it looks like. So... It's getting down to the end. so he's had an issue. At this point, don't need a caution. It wouldn't do us any damn good. and he has been lapped. But as the leaders catch us and pass us, he might be able to follow them through. What I don't want to do is get involved in the race to the finish, so... I would probably just pull over and back off and get them both past us, because... There's only seven laps left. Once they get a little closer, but right now we're affecting their air a bit. And that guy is, the 12 has really backed it down, so I might even just pull low on the back stretch now, just to not hurt the leader's air. And we will get them around us. Then they can race it out. The uh, 12 is really backed it down, so... Not sure what's going on with him or if he's having to do like some massive fuel saving or something. So the reason I did that so early was just to not cause the lead car to get a ton of aero. Within a second it just massively affects the car and that was gonna play a big role in the finish of the race. Go to that far back 
and they might be side by side and I don't want to try getting out of the way when that happens and I don't want to do it in a corner so we did it where we could be the safest Almost over with. 14th place and we only beat one person. Everyone else was damaged or retired. What flag did not? But hey, I, I just knew in the back of my mind I was going to be a lap down, and so I hit at the perfect time. Right? We weren't short on fuel. Just wish I could not screw these up and be so bad, but arrow just so difficult to work with with these. So... Flag, Where flag. Okay, we'll get him next time. Did Brian finished uh or not uh where Jacob finished twelfth, so he uh he definitely went backwards there, but he still gets an awesome finish. I would not have been able to qualify good anyways, so it didn't really matter. Our strategy was okay. I did gain a spot, so, I mean, Pit box team, ten. I don't know if we would have uh, gained that spot or not um, back in if we had stayed out and just done the same thing that they did, except for he did just really start losing speed at the end. Let's see what happened on the start here. Oh yeah, four picked up some front wing damage, probably right there. Maybe a whole bunch of prediction code stuff. Uh, really, what we need to do is go see what happened with the two. And what happened with uh, Seb? That's the only action that really occurred that took people out. Did he just lose it on pit road? knocked his wing off and I guess he just gave up after that. So then what happened to Seb? Oh, it's this lap. Slow lap. Nothing yet. And just guy on the inside didn't turn in a whole lot, and then there was prediction code between them, and that unfortunately ends his race. So, uh, let's take a look at what we lost. We're going to lose 31 I rating, gain 14 safety rating, and uh, yeah, just not much we could do there, but I'm glad it's realistic. I'm glad they haven't gamified it like. Uh, the NASCAR stuff where there's no arrow and uh, yeah having the arrow push makes it look like what it is on TV and it's difficult so track position is king we made up one spot but that is it so hope you enjoyed it at least thanks for watching